What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today I have a first impressions from the house of Naomi Goodsir. This fragrance is called Corpus Equis. And I hopefully you guys can read that. Corpus Equis. This is an Eau de Parfum concentration. And uh, I've never heard anything about this house, guys. Um, this will be my first ever trying of this house. And um, I don't remember where I got the sample, but as you can see, it's a dabber. So I had to go ahead and put this in my own little sample bottle like this. Okay. So the juice is a nice kind of piss color. Um, but yeah, guys, uh, let's go ahead and bust this fragrance down. I'll go ahead and spray it on some skin and some paper and let you guys know what I think about it. All right. So Corpus Equis is an Eau de Parfum concentration. And anybody who doesn't know what uh, Corpus Equis it means it means body of the horse okay this was a 2021 release and it is classified as a leather fragrance for men and for women the notes consist of leather smoke birch rose woody notes incense musk amber patchouli and cedar so when i think of body of the horse right i'm thinking it's going to be animalic maybe a leather joint uh, I'm excited. So let's go ahead. Let's get spraying and praying guys. Um, let's see what this uh, goes for. Uh, also, I forgot to mention this retails for around 187 USD. Uh, that's the best price I could find online. And what is your scent of the day today? Mine is uh, Terder Hermes O Intense Vetiver. Okay, so let's go ahead and spray it on my uh, right hand. If I can get it. And let's go ahead and spray this on a testa strip. Okay. Wow, I can smell it already. Ooh. <laughs> Very animalic. Hmm. The what the what the reason why I'm shriveling my nose up is it's got like this inky vibe to it. Like there's it's just somebody just dumped a whole bunch of ink with some leather, some sweaty leather. Very dirty too. Um, I'm thinking maybe it's a dirty musk, maybe a very animalic musk that I'm getting here. Maybe it could be that amber note too, because it's very, it's very resiny. It's very resiny, like uh, not like tree resin, but just very resinous, guys. That smell that gives off the resin. It smells like a. If you guys have like a coach bag or a YSL bag, you know all the women who, uh, you know, maybe like a Birkin bag. I've never sniffed a Birkin bag before. Okay, I don't even know what they look like, but I'm assuming this is what they smell like. Uh, this smells like dirty, alive, but which just killed leather. Um, I wouldn't say it's as animalic as um, Gucci Guilty Absolute, uh, the review that I did a while back. It's not as animalic. It's not like you just skin the animal and stuck your nose right to its skin. That's not giving off this vibe, but it's very inky. It, it, it. I and I, I, I think there's some birch tar in here too. I know that there's birch in here, but I'm thinking it's birch tar because this really reminds me of Hyde by Hiram Green. If you guys haven't checked out that first impressions, go check that one out because this kind of has some similarities, but. Uh, hide was more birch tar and burning wood and smelled like literally like a campfire. Um, this is very It's very inky and now I can kind of detect that rose and it, the, the rose is just it's it's just peeking out It's just coming out just a little bit, but it's very Hmm Very animalic leather very very animatic leather guys let me get this guy at my face. Um, it smells really expensive, though. It does smell high class. And um, with the name of Naomi, or Naomi Goodsa. Good day, Goodsa. You know, I don't know, guys. I mean, that's my little voice impression thing here. But very inky, though. It's like just you dumped a whole bunch of ink on some on some leather 
It doesn't really remind me of a horse though either. Uh, I've ridden horses a couple times and those things are very, very strong beings, uh, creatures, animals, uh, whatever you want to call them. They're ripped, guys. <laughs> They're tough. Uh, I understand why they equate horses to horsepower and vehicles and motors and stuff like that because those things are strong, beastly things, but very inky. There is some, now I'm starting to pick up on that. It almost smells like orris. You guys have ever smelled orris before, like the cacti? Uh, the cacti? It almost kind of gives me that vibe. Um, but it's, yeah, I can, I can definitely smell the rose now. It's not powdery, it's kind of like a fresh rose, but it's tainted by that leather and by that inky smell. I, I mostly get ink and leather with this very animalic ink and leather with some dirty musk and some resiny amber. Uh, I'm not really picking up on any woods. Very interesting, though. Very, very interesting. Um, yeah, I mean, it's very unique, guys. I've never smelled anything like this. Has some similarities uh, to Hyde from uh, Hiram Green and also um, Gucci Guilty Absolute. And funny enough, guys, it kind of almost has... It, it touches on... Um, Cartier's uh, Declaration EDP, just a tiny bit, guys, just with that, uh, uh, there's some leather in uh, Cartier's um, Declaration EDP, and I'm kind of just getting that a little bit, uh, but I can honestly, wait, hold on, I think that Oris, when I was saying that it kind of smelled like cacti, uh, I'm thinking it's Iris. I think it's iris, guys. I think it's iris. Um, but I'm not too sure. I could be wrong. Yeah, no, I think that's definitely iris. It's definitely iris. Um, so, okay. Let's sum this up real quick before I ramble on any further and you guys click off this video. So, it's inky, very animalic leather. There's some dirty musk in there with a very resiny resiny amber touch uh, with some iris and uh, the iris note isn't super strong but it's definitely there I can definitely pick it up and uh, yeah very interesting guys uh, I, I kind of like it to be honest with you I'm gonna have to wait to kind of see how the dry down is there is some rose and now it's starting to show itself a little bit more but um, yeah guys I mean that's my first impressions of Corpus Equus by Naomi Good sir. It took me forever to say that name, guys. Uh, you'll see in bloopers uh, if you stick to the end of this video, but it took me forever to say that name. It was a tongue twister for me. But um, yeah, guys, I hope you guys like this first impression. It's kind of winging it today, you know, just chilling. But very, very interesting. If you, if you kind of like an animalic leather with... Uh, with some ink vibes in there. Sounds weird, but uh, I think you like this. At least check it out. I don't even remember where I got this sample from. I just found it in there and I was like, hmm, let me do a first impressions on it. So uh, yeah, guys, I hope you guys like this video and uh, let me uh, leave me a comment down below. You know, I love those. I love talking with y'all and uh, I'll catch you guys soon. Thank you so much for watching LockSense. I'm your host, Dr. Goo, and uh, I'll catch you later. All right, guys, see ya, bye of Naomi Goodsir, and this one is called Corpus, uh, Corpus Equif, 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 called Corpus Equif, Equif, Equist.